Hi, I'm Paul Atoll from PaulAtoll.com and I'm going to show you today um, a tutorial about uh, the Steam wrappers I have on my website. Um, first of all, it's my website with all kind of cool stuff, lots of games, DOS, Amiga, MSX games, but especially Windows games. And I'm going to focus on a moment on this tutorial about uh, the Steam wrappers I have. Um, well, I have uh, quite a dozen of, uh, well, and lots of dozens of uh, Steam games which I've bought it um, and um, to have a wrapper which is maintainable um, I create four uh, four or five wrappers with Steam instead of a specific Steam wrapper for every game so um, this is for me much better to uh, maintain um, in, the in the future it will be uh, something different, but you will find out uh, soon enough if you uh, follow the blog. Some awesome solutions for that. Um, but meanwhile, we have to work with uh, the Steam wrappers. Um, well, let's take for example Man of War Assault Squad 2. It's a Steam game. Or South Park Stick of Truth for the Mac. Um, it's also a Windows Steam game. Um, well, if you go to the game page, for example here, every Steam game has um, has a Steam wrapper, and I will say in the text which one you have to choose. Sometimes I have a direct link, as you can see here, Steam Build One Zip. But sometimes I have um, I have a link to the folder, which contains all five different versions of the builds. Uh, I or I will mention it on the page which one you will use. If you have a game which is not on my game pages, on my game ports list, which you can find here, strategy simulators. If you check one. If you go to strategy games, this is the list of strategy games I ported. Um, a dozen of them from this page are Steam wrappers. Um, for example, well, which one? Trist, I think, was that, was that the Steam game? I think so. Yeah, Steam wrapper. And here it will say um, Steam Build 1. That version you need. If you click on that link, you see you will go straight to the folder and you can download uh, well download the one you, you need. So in this case you need Steam Build 1. It might be uh, that the game is not listed and you think hey I wanna try my game into the, one of those uh, Steam builds. Well, of course, that's possible. And you can try it, and if it works, then it works. But if it doesn't work, it doesn't work. Yeah, it's quite simple. Uh, you can always try to, to install the game in those other builds. Steam build 2 has, uh, has .NET 4.0 installed, pre installed. That's the most significant uh, difference between Steam build 1. So if you know it, yeah, it has dot .NET 4.0 needed, then this one might be the one you need. Um, Steam Build X11 uses the, the uh, not the Mac driver, but uh, the X11 uh, driver from uh, from Wine itself and from the system. GLSL, uh, especially for shaders, that this one is the GLSL is disabled, so this might be a solution for for Intel uh, and uh, NVIDIA card uh, users or AMD Radeon users. If you have troubles with shaders, you can try this one. Steam Build 1 is, um, is the main wrapper you can use. Steam Build 1B you can use uh, as an alternative of uh, Build 1. So this a little bit, well, the explanation of uh, the wrappers, it has all kind of tweaks in it. So. Um, I cannot guarantee that every game works on it, of course, because 
every game is different. Uh, I can only tell the ones who I ported on my lists which work for me and may work for you as well. Um, you can also check which graphics cards are uh, tested most of the time. Uh, Intel's working as well. Um, but I didn't test with all of them, so. Um, well, this is about it about Steam Reps. Well, what you have to do is just download, um, for example, Steam Build Zip one here. Click on the link. And you click, uh, well, I'm logged in here, so if I'm going to sign out, I'm going to do it again. There we go. Steam wrapper. We do it again. Steam zip. You get this on the downloads, but you go to the slow download. Takes a while to download, but um, well, you know the drill takes a while to download the file but then normally you can still use the same wrap for other games as well click it begin to download and then you can save the file you click on save okay you're gonna save it and then you get uh, a wrapper with a steam build and then you double click it or use Keka or you use uh, an archiver or whatever extract program to extract the steam wrapper and then what you do is just double click to log in they will ask to log in and then you uh, log into the system and then you can uh, at the specific serial, which you can get from Gamesgate, depending uh, on the game page I already mentioned. Uh, blah, 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 connection. Uh, well, let's do it again. Sometimes it says that, but you just try again. And here it starts. Sometimes you, it may occur that nothing happens and say, what? And then you just try again. Make sure that you close the process and just start Steam again and it will work fine. I'll go to my library and I will show you, for example, what shall we do? Oh, well, Salt Park, all right. No problem. And as you'll see, whoop. South Park, by the way, works awesome. It's just made of windows. So I can continue with one, but uh, why? <laughs> well, main menu, yes. So this is one example. Uh, so if you have um, the specific game mentioned, you click hey, add the game, activate the product on Steam, use the game skate zero which mentioned uh, on the game page, and you paste it in here with Control V, whoop, and you click on Next, and it will add it, and then whoa, you can play. So, um, well, thank you for watching. You can always quit Steam when using Quit Steam. Make sure the, the process is gone from the from the bar. So. 
Anyway, so this is a bit the story about the steam wrappers. So um, all basics are go to the game page, check which build is is requested, steam build one, go to the to the folder and download a specific uh, engine as the wrapper, steam wrapper, and then uh, extract play and use uh, for example if I mention here try some games gate and you click on the link here just uh, also uh, support games gate which is my uh, sponsor you can just click on the link it will go to the game page where you can buy the game and add the serial into the uh, steam client so uh, if you want to support me, Gamerskate, same uh, if you want to donate to, uh, to help me with uh, all this stuff, then you click on the donate button. And yeah, enjoy the game, so thank you for watching, hope to see you back on Polatol.com. If you love the work you do, you can always donate to my website and uh, support my hard work, and uh, enjoy the games, and uh, spread the word. Bye-bye.